My hands are up here, and yet I'm changing scenes back and forth and even turning on and off my lights without 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 using my hands. It's actually pretty easy, you know? Just just come over here. Do you frequently forget to switch scenes, something I would never do, or mute or unmute your microphone? Do you want controls that are out of sight? You already know the Stream Deck puts the ultimate computer and stream control at your fingertips. And now Elgato's latest product puts all that same power at your toe tips. The Elgato Stream Deck pedal puts the pedal to the metal and drives your stream out of sight under your desk and away from prying eyes, at least if you don't open your DMs. I'm Impulse Fox, the stream professor, and I've been a huge advocate of the Stream Deck since launch. The software wasn't super feature rich at first, but I saw the potential and have since utilized way too many of them to running to manage video editing, running scripts, launching programs, monitoring PC temperatures, and controlling my streams and recordings. and even my lights. By the way, these Stream Deck mounts are amazing and available on Etsy, linked below. But as a tutorial creator, I've been really wanting to find more tools that let me do these kinds of things without obvious button jabs or picking my hands off the mouse and keyboard. I also have a long and well-documented history of forgetting to switch seams during game stream and or forgetting to mute or unmute my microphone for voice chat. They're here. I have no shields, no armor, no health, no nothing. I'm cool, help you out. Two guns that are basically the same. That's fine. Oh, that's why I got oh. the There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks, ADHD. Elgato's latest product seems to want to fix all of that with the Stream Deck pedal. Pedals or foot switches are not a new tool, even for PC macros. I can remember my mom and grandmother doing transcription work in the 90s with foot switches that controlled tape decks. In fact, I bought a foot pedal set on Amazon back in 2019 with the sole goal of making this video, and it's just set in a box until now, so we'll be comparing them here. The physical build is simple but robust. A metal base plate, a fair bit of heft and weight so it doesn't move around on the ground, and hard, thick plastic pedals that can take a beating. Wait. Which one of these am I talking about? Both, actually. Uh, the build quality between the Elgato pedals and the uh, Ikigal, Ikigal <laughs> USB foot pedals I got on Amazon feel about the same, though the Elgato has more weight to it and feels like it'll stay in place more. Obviously, the Ikigal one looks a bit more silly with the yellow foot spots, but it's going under your desk. That doesn't really matter. The Stream Deck pedal actually has three pedals, two on the side and one big middle one, whereas most you find online are just two pedals. If you don't want the middle one for some reason, the packaging includes stoppers for it so you can effectively disable it, as well as a bunch of different tension springs so you can fine tune how each of the pedals respond and how much weight they take to actually press and all of that, which is really nice. I have big feet and I thought I might need to add some tension here so that I'm not just weighing it down when I rest my feet on it. But honestly, so far, I feel fine with how they came pre-configured, but maybe later on I want to tweak it. You can also tweak the sensitivity in the Stream Deck app as well. The pedal connects with a removable USB Type-C cable so you can use your own custom length, replace it, etc. while the Ikegal is not removable. The real secret sauce lies in the software support. As the name implies, the Stream Deck pedal is, well, an Elgato Stream Deck. It directly ties into the Stream Deck software and can do anything a Stream Deck can. This means controlling your streaming software to switch scenes, show or hide sources, mute your microphone, launch programs, run scripts, send hotkeys, and so on. Plus, Elgato have just released a brand new custom Discord integration, which allows you to use your Stream Deck or pedal to mute or deafen yourself, join a specific voice or text channel, or their very own custom push to talk or push to mute solution. Using a foot pedal as push to talk in Discord makes push to talk way more viable while gaming. It's pretty amazing. Not being able to juggle pressing a button for that while gaming is why I usually don't bother with push to talk, and now I can. It's worth noting that this is kind of a hacky way to run push to talk and push to mute, so you need to not have push to talk enabled in Discord to work. It needs to be set to open mic. So that's a little counterintuitive, but otherwise it's super responsive, even just if I just like spam the button. It's pretty great. Given how much macro usage I already juggle with my various keypads and everything else, I 
still could see myself easily using like four of these at some point. Two at my main desk, one for comms and one for general computer and stream controls, such as a dedicated foot switcher for going to my gameplay scene, a dedicated one for my gaming computer for similar control, and then a dedicated one for my streaming setup over in the retro room for controlling the camera angles there. Like I could see one at each workstation being great. Being able to control your stream while your hands are occupied is huge, and in fact, as I'm recording this, I just realized it would probably work out at the workbench setup too. Also, since it acts as a normal stream deck, you're technically not just limited to the three buttons, as the various profiles and smart profiles can come into play as well. You could either just set up a profile switcher button on a normal stream deck that can just cycle your pedals through various different workflows, or set up automatic switching with smart profiles based on having specific applications open. So it doesn't have to be super limiting, even if there's only three buttons. Since you can manually assign general hotkeys, you can use it to control just about anything, even if there isn't a direct integration or plugin available from the Stream Deck for your particular software. You can also have a single pedal press do multiple things at once with the multi-action functionality. Underrated IMO. For example, I can program the middle pedal to launch OBS, turn on my lights, mute Discord, open up my Twitch dashboard and stream elements activity feed, all of those things at once, so I'm ready to stream with one press of a button. Elgato also introduced a little overlay thing for the foot pedal so you can have it on a side monitor or something and have visual feedback of your mic mute status and things like that since you obviously aren't looking at a screen indicator for it like the normal stream decks. I mostly find this annoying, so I closed it, but I appreciate that they made it an option regardless. The Ikegal foot pedal, on the other hand, or foot, the software isn't great. At first, it seems pretty solid. It supports a wide range of devices and lets you control whether the pedal is a continuous trigger, as in it keeps sending the same thing while you hold down the button, or a single trigger, just sending it whenever you tap the button. It also lets you set separate press and release actions, which is pretty neat. You can map keyboard and mouse buttons, gamepad inputs, kind of generic windows, menu options, and a basic text string, though only up to 38 characters for some reason. But macros is not supported on this particular switch for some reason. You can still map key combinations to it, however, just not multiple back to back. However, it's just very finicky, and the, e the, the input field does not block hotkeys from going out to the system, so good luck mapping anything with the windows key, as it will just send that input to windows, and then not save it in the software. It's weird. This is fine for some general purpose use, and you can expand the hotkey capabilities with auto hotkey and probably be fine, especially because it supports F1 through F24 and all of that. But it definitely lacks a lot of the polish and neat integrations of the Stream Deck software. Whether you're streaming, video conferencing, teaching, or just generally being a badass power user of your PC, I do think a foot pedal is a great way to take a little more control over your PC or, or Mac. Stream Deck pedal supports Mac as well. Whether you go with the Elgato one or the generic one on Amazon, though, check for Mac support for those. Of course, you're paying a high dollar here to get Elgato's offering. The Ikegal foot switch cost me $40 from Amazon, while the Stream Deck pedal will run you about 90 bucks. That is a $50 leap. But for that price, you're getting an additional button and far more software support. You can do nearly anything the Stream Deck pedal can with the Ikegal one and, and some scripty know-how but the the work and time spent is probably not worth it, at least in my opinion, if you're planning on just doing streaming as your work versus macro developing as your work. If you just have a couple hotkeys or seam switches in mind, the Ikegal one is an easier buy, but if you are looking into the world of possibilities of the Stream Deck pedal, you're gonna be sorely disappointed trying to recreate that with the generic pedals. You also don't get any of the sensitivity or spring adjustment on the Ikegal pedals that you get on the Stream Deck pedal either. There are a lot of Elgato products that people get mad about the price where I will jump in to defend them and say that they're not even that ex much more expensive than direct competition. Like, I, I will happily defend a lot of these, but th this one is. It's a premium product with software support developed for a specific kind of user. I, I think that the premium that you pay is not that egregious, all things considered, especially when you consider that getting a third USB foot pedal from Ikegal, for example, brings the total up to $66 instead of $40 but the choice will be yours. The other choice that will be yours is whether or not you check out our stream safe, video safe rock and metal music from Backing Track. We got all the guitars and bass and drums that you could want for your stream, free to use and safe from content ID troubles. Check it out at backintrack.gg and get free downloads over on our Discord server at discord.gg evosvox. While you're joining us on Discord, be sure to pop in and let us know what you think about the Stream Deck pedal or generic options. Remember, be kind, rewind.